Bonjour tout le monde and welcome back. Hello everyone. Um, thank you for coming back to my channel if you are a returning viewer. If you are a new viewer, hi, my name is Jennifer. I am a full-time French teacher and a part-time reseller on platforms such as eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, and Facebook Marketplace. And today is a thrift haul. So as a teacher, most of my thrifting happens on the weekend, unless I'm, you know, thrifting online somehow. But um, there's a thrift store in my local area that every other weekend they have a quarter tag sale. They have a certain color tag. Items with that tag color are 25 cents. That's when I really love to go there. So I'm gonna take a step to the side. I'm like looking down, make sure I can. Take a step to the side so that you guys can see this pile of clothes right here. This is 20 articles of clothing that were all a quarter each. So that means this is $5 worth of clothing. Clothing. I got a lot of other stuff too. We're gonna jump into it. It's about 46 items. So pause this, grab a snack, grab something to drink if you need to. Uh, I'm gonna try to get through the whole thing so that we get a good video out this week. And we're gonna start with the quarter tag stuff, okay? So, start off with, I told myself I was not picking up any more of this brand until I sold what I had. This is J. Jill. You see, I lied to myself. I do that often. But J. Jill, a pair of like cream colored denim. They feel like denim pants. They kind of look like denim. I looked them over hard in the store. I wanted to make sure I didn't see any spots and I just saw one right up here in my face. Here's a little spot. I'll stay and treat it and throw this through the wash. But um, yeah, I thought these were cute and they were a quarter. So I uh, broke my, my J. Jill rule. So there we go. This um, again, and I'll say this probably in a thousand videos that I make, a lot of people will not pick up this brand because they say it doesn't sell for them. I sell this brand all the time. The BR is Banana Republic. This is a tank top. Look at all those sequins. Oh my gosh, all those sequins. And I, when I felt it, I was like, hold on, this feels good. I see something weird going on right there. Is that? All right, I'm gonna have to dive into that because I did not see this in the store, whatever that is. I'll have to, I don't know what's going on there because in some lights I see it and some I don't. That's bizarre. Anyway, this is silk. Um, That back part is silk, so that's why I picked it up. It was a quarter back part of silk. I may be sorry that I picked it up based on what I just saw. I didn't see, I saw it in my um, camera. I can't see it any other way. That's weird. I don't find this often at all. I almost never find Prana. Um, so it was a quarter um, and I picked it up. It's like all staticky together. It is so staticky right here, right now in Virginia. Um, dry air, I don't know, but my hair is staticky. Everything is staticky. So it's this cute little geometric, very thin, um, shirt and I know that it was meant to be this way the back has like stripes on it and yeah 25 cents okay go for another one good tried and true brand um this usually sells for me Talbots it's an extra small it's a roll tab so it's got the buttons you can roll your sleeves up and tab them you know put the little tab on them um, kind of like a window pane, um, print. So I think when it has the collar like this and you just button it up to here, that might be called a Mandarin collar. So 100% cotton. I like that one. I found this in the men's section, blue tag. All blue tags are the ones that are quarter. And I'm doing all the quarter stuff first anyway. So normally this would have been 575 but it's Lane Bryant, it's a blazer, it's a size 28. Good career piece, just a pinstripe blazer. Oh, 
All right, let's go with a few pairs of jeans. I pick up jeans year round. I feel like there's a lot of people that wear them year round. Again, there's another Banana Republic. Um, and this is the Sloan. I've sold the Sloan so many times. So yeah, why not? Let's sell it again. Um, and it's just, I think you saw that it was a size four. It's pretty much a straight leg jean. And it looks a little bit nicer than your average pair of jeans. I think if I had a pair of these in my size, I believe I could get away with wearing them at work and no one would think I was wearing denim. That's kind of the, the beauty of a pair of jeans like that. For those of us that have to go into an office. Uh, first time finding this brand. Treasure and Bond. I checked it really quick in the store. Um, I checked comps on it, saw that it was doing pretty well. It is, the waist size is a 28, which I think they're calling an eight, maybe. I don't know, 28. Um, and it is the skinny fit. So, Treasure and Bond's got some whiskering, some fading. We see that skinny leg happening right there. And the back pockets, they're plain. And you see the treasure and bond on that. So, I thought these were doing pretty well when I looked them up on Poshmark. I figured for a quarter they were worth my time. Um, of course, with all of this, I will average the cost of goods together and do those numbers at the end. These, um, I realize that's a Target brand, but the size and the style and the color and the fact that they were a quarter um, were, you know, what, oh, and the fact that they're new with tags, that, you know, that kind of drove my decision to purchase these. So, I don't even see, yeah, they were originally $23. So the fact that they're still new with tags um, and they're a good uh, plus size. I like keeping plus size things in my closet. Yeah, I think I can do okay with those. All right. Here's Gap. I think size two. Um, I don't see a style name written in them. They feel like denim, however, just like those Banana Republic ones, see the blue tag quarter, they look, um, they don't look exactly like jeans. So you see this big uh, flare leg. So it's a flare leg pant. The back pockets have these cute little flaps on them. And I, like I said, I think a pair of pants like this, even though it's, probably technically jeans. You could probably get away with these at work. Um, so yeah, I like those. These I uh, heard in a, was that a Becky Park video? Somebody talking about pull-on jeans doing really well, which is kind of surprising. And it was crazy that I found a pair Talbots, size four, pull on jegging for a quarter this weekend on Saturday. So I see that that, that light from that window is like putting a glare on stuff. I'm wondering if I should turn my camera a little bit. Anyway, um, I see Otis in the background. Let me see if I should turn this slightly. That might help, it may not. We'll see. Okay, let's keep going. Um, how cute is that skirt? I think it's just adorable with all the flowers and the gray and the yellow. I just thought it was so pretty. Um, this is J. Crew, but it's J. Crew Factory. And it's a size two, it was a quarter. It's got a little side zipper here. Um, a line silhouette. Yeah. Oh, and it has pockets. And it has pockets. So, remember that's always an important thing. Somebody's going to go, oh, I like your skirt. It has pockets. You know that happens. All right. Little girl's coat. I know nothing about this brand. 
Penelope Mac. I fell in love with the coat. It's like a very fine corduroy with all these little flowers, this faux fur collar, these faux fur sleeves lined, these big buttons. I just thought it was so cute. And for a quarter, I got this for a quarter. So they, um, a lot of their children's clothes, they just put them in bins according to sizes and you have to dig in bins and it's 50 cents a bin or uh, not a bin, a 50 cent in for an article of clothing. So, but this was a quarter. So there we go. There's that. Okay. I'm so old fashioned. I still buy these old lady shorts. Um, Lauren Ralph Lauren, size 12. Nice little pinstripe short. Um, maybe it could be considered a Bermuda. I don't know. Can you see how the stripes are? I don't know if these would be considered Bermuda shorts or not. They're gonna come close to it, yeah. They'll come close to being Bermuda shorts. So there we go. Another quarter item. This one I meant to check while I was in the store and I didn't. Um, so hopefully, I mean, at a quarter, I don't see where it would be a bad decision, but it's Rachel, Rachel Roy. And it's a really cute dress with this built-in elastic waistband, like contrast belt. And it's uh, lined fully lined. I'm sure that it's polyester, but it feels like the lining feels so good. I'm looking to see if there's a tag under here with uh, fabric content. I don't see one. So anyway, so it's a Rachel Rachel Roy size 10. Oh, I found it. Found it. Um, where is your, yeah, it is. It's 100% polyester. So, ah, we'll see. It's cute. It was a quarter. I meant to look it up. I didn't. This might be my favorite find of the quarter tags. It's a men's sport coat or a men's blazer, whatever they're called. It's a size, I think, 42 regular. It's 100% wool. Uh, made in Colombia. I opened it up and I saw Oscar de la Renta and I was like, yes, for a quarter, we're taking the Oscar de la Renta. Um, did not find any flaws on it. You know, sometimes you gotta, well, you really definitely have to check wool for moth holes and things like that. Um, didn't find any. There's a little bit of dust right here on the front. So from just being in the, in the thrift store. Okay. Uh, next, I know that dress pants aren't popular. They don't do well. A lot of times what I do is I'll list these and try to sell them. And if they don't sell, I'll take them to Clothes Mentor. But this is Michael Michael Kors. And there's the, the little thing on the back. And they are a basic black career dress pant. Everybody's like, I hate black. I hate photographing it. I hate, hate, hate. But again, for a quarter, I'm willing to put up with it. So, size 10, good size. Again, a good staple piece. A good staple piece. A lot of these are brands are my tried and true brands. Um, excited about the Oscar. So hopefully, I haven't even looked. Haven't even looked to see what that would maybe go for. All right, another pair. Uh, probably from the same person, to be quite honest with you. There's the, the silver guy on the back. And this is just a gray pair of dress pants. So again, if I list them, and I feel like they're not getting any attention at all. I'll pack them up, take them to Clothes Mentor. Because 
again, for a quarter, I think I could probably, you know, close mentor takes them. Everything will be good. Okay, never have I found this brand in a thrift store. Soma, isn't that weird that I've never found Soma? But these are like a little pair of athleisure type pajama pants, lounge pants, stripes. They look really comfortable. Um, Size medium. Yeah. So I picked those up. I see a little bit of like fuzzing from wash wear, but nothing major. Stuff like that I just indicate in the listing so that people know what to expect. Okay. Here we've got again. Um, I never knew what this was. And I was watching somebody's videos recently about Not Your Daughter's jeans. Uh, jeans. I never knew that this was a relatively decent brand. So these are an ankle size eight pair of khakis. They were a quarter. So I like these. I'm trying to decide if I see something there. I'm going to have to really look these over. The um, My camera light is showing a lot of things that I cannot see in a normal way. So, yeah, I'm trying to decide on that one um, if I see stuff. All right, these totally not in season right now. I'll still list them. And I know that this brand may not do well, but these are 100% wool. And they are fully lined. Just again, a basic career pant. They've got this cool stripe down the side for visual interest, almost like a tweed. This wool is almost like a tweed. The back pockets have never been opened. So they're still basted shut. So I'd be surprised to find out if these pants were worn much at all. So size six. If you just heard a big thump, that was my 16 pound cat. Um, all right, let's do, let's do the clothing that was like full price for the thrift stores. Um, sorry, I'm having to turn my back to you, but that's so I can pick this stuff up and I'm just gonna stick things under my arm to minimize that. Okay, shorts. They're either 275 or 375. This is Columbia. And it's just a pair of lightweight hiking shorts. Lots of good pockets, front and back. And let me see if I can get it to, to come through. They're made of ripstop, which if you can see, I don't know if you can, I don't know if you can see the little grid marks in the fabric, but those grid marks um, are the ripstop material. So, you know, you get a snag on something when you're in the woods and it's supposed to protect it from ripping. So, let's see, next one. Uh, never found this in a thrift store before. This is Caution to the Wind. That's either an anthropology or a Urban Outfitters brand. It is a basic, very lightweight, long sleeve, gray t-shirt, crew neck with the crew neck that's like black and white. I've never found it. So uh, long sleeve shirts are three seventy-five. dollars uh, This is something I pick up almost all the time that I see it. This is toward size three. So it's gonna be about like a 22 to a 24. And it's just a cute little tank top. This was $2.75. I thought it was so pretty. And it just, I think it would look so cute with a pair of denim shorts for summer. All right. Um, Jackets. I didn't, I never saw the sign, but he told me when I got up there, because I said, hey, I don't know how much. Well, jackets, their sign says $5.75 to $7.75. And I guess they just, you know, price them whatever. And um, what in the world is my hair doing, y'all? Oh, well, you're getting me as me. <laughs> um, when I pulled it up there, I said, how much did you charge me for this? And he goes, oh, 
um, our jackets are all a, a dollar right now. I went, oh, okay, I never saw a sign saying that. This is an anthropology brand. I don't know how to pronounce it. Hi, hi, or he, he. Um, have no idea, but it's a great, just basic utility jacket. It's got drawstrings here and here to tie it shut. Good pockets, a great kind of like canvas material. I see some schmutz back here. Um, I still have to wash all this stuff. So I just like to haul it as soon as I get it so that I know that part of my life is done. All right, pants. They always, always have pants. I'm gonna throw these over there for a minute. Always pants are four pair for $10. Now, you, you know, if you don't get four pair, you gotta pay like $5.75 a pair or something like that. But if you buy four pair, it's $10. And I'm thinking they must be overrun with clothes because on at their donation place are like no clothing. And I wonder if they're gonna run another sale. So one time they opened up one of their, they have these event halls where they do different things. And um, one time they opened up the event hall and they just put out plastic tubs full of clothes. You had to dig through them, but every piece you got, it was a dollar a piece. And I'm wondering if they're gonna try to do that again because they must be overrun with clothes. But anyway, these are so cute. So. The next four pair of pants you see are going to be um, $2.50. That's an Urban Outfitters house brand. Look how cute these floral jeans are. I want to say they're probably like a skinny based on the way that that ankle looks. But I just loved these floral pants. I used to have a pair like similar to this in the 80s. So this kind of tucked at my heart. Um, <laughs> anyway, I loved those floral pants. All right, so there's those. What's I? I meant to put these back and look for something different, and it could be that I just kept them because I couldn't find another pair that I liked. But it's American Eagle. Um, the problem, the reason I meant to put them back is that they're a double zero. Ugh, why did I get a double zero? Um, but it is the jegging, uh, super stretch jegging. <sighs> Maybe they'll do okay. Maybe I'll be able to get rid of them, but yeah, they are definitely a jegging. Look how small that ankle is. Um, so hopefully, yeah. I meant to put them back, but I have them now. What am I gonna do, right? Um, maybe I could try Plato's closet since they're so tiny. Maybe Plato's would want them. All right. The Talbots flawless five pocket. It says 18 woman boyfriend cut. All right, we like that. So I like them because, hey Talbots, mature woman brand, you did a pretty good job of making a pair of jeans try to look a little trendy with their like a little bit of distressing here and there. And I'll show you the back. There's some more on the back of how they tried. They're, Talbot's tried. They're like, you know, we know those mature ladies are not going to wear jeans with blown out knees and stuff. Not all of them. Some do. Some get away with it. I won't. <laughs> I don't feel normal in them. So, uh, this, I think this was Talbot's version of, hey, let's let's do some distressing on these. So that those, uh, here's another distressing. So those older ladies feel a little hip. A little hip. All right, so there we go. Talbot, size 18, great size. And a tiny bit of distressing to make us feel like we're in with the cool kids. What you think, Otis? He's up here watching from behind the camera. I wish you could run the camera, dude. That would be awesome. All right, let me see. I'm trying to figure these out, you guys. It is, I, I don't know. I, I don't know what's happening right here, but because I don't understand scrubs, but these are 
some scrub pants. Basic black scrub pants. They're gonna have they got a side pocket here. They got side pockets here. And I don't know what that little guy is, but I do know that these are where'd it go? Gray's Anatomy by Barco. Honestly, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I did not check comps to see how these do, only because um, I've got some uh, scrub tops, so I just wanted scrub pants to match. So it looks like they're a large petite. Um, and yeah, two fifty. So that's the end of the two dollar and fifty cent pile. Where should we go next? I'm just gonna start grabbing random things. Um. New with tags. New with tags. An insulated wine clutch. I was just sad that the corkscrew did not come with it. So there should have been a corkscrew in this front pocket. Okay, so I don't know if I can technically advertise it as new with tags. Um, but it's an insulated wine clutch. I love it. So hey, those so picnics in the summer, those festivals. Hey, this could be a good thing. Um, the brand on this is Primeware. This was $3. I did not check comps because in my head, if if comps look like crappy, I'll keep it. I will keep it. So here in Richmond, the symphony plays outdoor concerts all summer. And you can bring all your own alcohol and things like that and just set up in the lawn and listen to the Richmond Symphony. So... If comps look terrible, I'll use it. Look at this guy. His name is Padsworth. Okay, <laughs> how cute is he? Um, this is a Russ bear. There's the Russ tag. And here's his name tag, Padsworth. Stuffed animals at my diversity. That's the name of the thrift store, diversity. Stuffed animals are 50 cent, and I thought he has so much personality. Um, and he just sits and looks very thoughtful, I think. I don't know. I don't know. All right. I'm still, like, I'm grabbing way back here. We'll get this stuff towards the end. Um, I just want to, let's get the shoes done. So, shoes. $4 a pair or three pair for 10, so three thirty-three. I'd always try to go for the three pair today. I found six pair. There's some leather sandals with a great heel. These are Lauren Ralph Lauren. So there's, ah, there's the Lauren on there. I don't know if that is even showing up. Let's try this again, Jen. There it is, there it is, and they are a size 10. They're called the Kimba. It's another great thing I love about, um, did you hear that? About some of these is that they put the name of the, the style name of the shoe in there, which is great. Okay. Sometimes this pair, I, these sit for a while for me, but they usually sell. I honestly, I thought these were men's, but as I was checking the size, they are women's. That is Merrill. I love the colorway. It's a women's 10 and a half. I see like there's some little chunkies right here where that's where the biggest part of the wear is. This person must have really walked on the outside of their foot. Um, I don't know what Flex Connect is, but I would use that in the listing. Vibram Souls, which is always um, a, a well-known keyword. So, a pair of Merrill tennis shoes. Interesting. This was probably the last pair I picked up because I was looking for that, that sixth pair to round out my numbers. Um, I don't usually pick up anything Madden Girl, but I thought these were cute. I thought they were adorable with the big straps on here. Hang on, I think I saw the name on them. Oh, they're called the Nautic. 
and they're a nine and a half. I'm telling you this right now, if I still wore heels, if I'm ever allowed to wear heels again, I would totally rock these. I think they're so cute. Can you imagine them with a maxi dress or maxi skirt? Totally cute. They're in such good shape. The bottoms look great. So yeah, um, I'm not allowed to wear heels right now. But maybe one day, sorry about, I keep hitting the cord to my ring light. I need a better setup. The lights on my St. Patrick's Day tree have died. You know, I've been using that tree since Christmas and uh, the and the lights just like died. I plugged them in in different plugs. I've tried everything, they're not working anymore. So I need a new set of lights on it. Anyway, another tried and true brand, Clark's, at least for me. Um, just a leather comfort sandal, great shape. Don't look like they've ever been worn. So, uh, what size are you? These are an eight, great size. That's a great size. I'm just dropping things on the floor. All right, another tried and true brand. Tom's, these are a suede flat, burgundy colored, size seven. Okay, so the bottoms look fantastic. Again, might have been worn once, maybe. So, pair of Toms. Last pair of shoes. I've never found this brand in a pair of shoes. Found wallets. I have found purses, but never shoes. How cute are these? Do you see that name? I need to take the sticker off so you can see it. But we'll look on the back. Brighton. I have no, I didn't even know that Brighton made shoes. But look how pretty they are. Um, I see on here and I'm, I think that these say, oh my, like O-H-M-Y. I don't know if that's the name of the shoe. So I looked it up um, and what did I find out? I think I found, I couldn't find any of that specific brand. Let me see the Brighton Flip Flops. On eBay, 50% sell through rate. 25 to 30 dollars so that's a good thing um those merrells they're called the rubato rubato r-u-b-a-t-o their sell-through rate was terrible um what was listed and what was sold ran anywhere between 40 and 80 dollars the lauren ralph laurens i found lots of browns that sold anywhere between 20 and 40. That's the only pair of blacks. I see no black pairs in there anywhere. That could be a good thing, could be a bad thing. So just, I ran some numbers on some of those because I had never found them before. All right, let's get into the hard goods and jewelry. It says three broomsticks. So coffee mugs at my Goodwill, uh, my Goodwill, my, um, thrift store are two dollars i thought this was fake and so i because it doesn't even have marking on the bottom but i recognized it's like okay wait that's a wand like like she's holding wands and that's a harry potter scarf so i google lensed it apparently this was a limited edition harry potter starbucks mug so i picked it up for two dollars haven't checked any kind of rates, uh, sell through or um, comps anywhere. I I grabbed it. This is a tall, tall Starbucks mug for two dollars. It's got that. I guess you can check off what's in it. I know nothing about it. Two dollars. I grabbed it. Um, so we'll get through all the Starbucks first. Another Starbucks. Now I grabbed this. It's a travel mug. If, if this thing does not like comp very well, I will keep this. I will keep this in a heartbeat. What is, ooh, ooh, I just found something fun. Hold on, hold up. What are these? Are these little stirry guys? What is this? 
Is it really is like a like? <sighs> Sorry, I get excited over weirdness like this. I didn't know. Look, it had the secret handle holdy thing. Oh my goodness! This was worth two dollars. When I was in the store, I opened it up and sniffed it, made sure there was no mold in it. You know, because you don't know. Some people just they they just run around the house, throw stuff in a box and. <laughs> They go to their stores like, where'd you find this? Where has it been sitting? So, oh, that made me happy about that. Okay, and then last Starbucks. Be like, oh, God, could you, did she find all the Starbucks? How cute are these? How cute are these little baby cups? I'm thinking they're espresso cups because they're little. But it's got barista. It's got 2002 on it. So, yeah. I just was like, oh my gosh, they're so cute. I treated them as one when I did my count for my how many items I got, cost of goods and all that, because I will probably want to sell these as a set. They're so little. And I'll have to measure to see how much coffee they hold. That might be enough to make somebody mad. Okay. These two things, I will probably... So my son and his partner live with his partner's grandma, and I call her grandma, um, and she loves Snoopy. Oh, she loves Snoopy and Winnie the Pooh. So, I found this Snoopy mug, and um, I haven't even tried to take this sticker off yet to see what it says underneath. Um, Joe Cool's Coffee Shop. Where the drinks are hot and the vibe is cool. Yeah, that's grandma. That would be grandma all the way. I know that this will tickle her to, to pieces. She'll be so happy to have a Joe Cool mug. Um, Hallmark. It's a Hallmark mug. But I'll, I'll put that. So what I do when I thrift, I see things that remind me of my son, that remind me of his partner, that remind me of grandma. And I have a box just sitting underneath the table that's behind me and I I will gather them up until the box is full and then I'll take it to the uh, post office and send it to my son. It's almost like a little surprise fun box from me and I'm going to give her this too. So it's very, it's very, it's very I'm probably saying it with a French accent, it's very, but I think that's the Swedish word for the country of Sweden. That's where she's from. She's from Sweden. She's the sweetest lady. The house she lives in, her father built. He built it. So, um, anyway, when I go to Minneapolis to visit, I always stay with her. So, look, did you did you ever play with one of these as a kid? Did your mom have one? Did your grandma have one? This one still works so well. It's a coin purse. You got to squeeze it to get those open. This is like, they're on hinges. So, yeah, I was like, oh, my gosh, 50 cents. That was so cute. I had to get that for her. I don't know if she'll use it, but I had to get it for her. All right. I love camping. I'm a big fan of camping. So, I saw this bag for $2 just sitting on one of their, what I call their junk tables. Tables just full of stuff. Coleman. Good, good, tried and true camping brand. And I was like, I think I know what this is. And it's exactly what I thought. It's a whole camping set, um, cutlery set kind of, fork, knife, and spoon. All right. Or, you know, this could be for hiking. It's pretty lightweight. And check it out. Salt and pepper. Salt and pepper's here. Um, Yeah, so... Please, Jennifer, don't ever do that again. So you got a little place for salt and pepper. Um, your girl did not even open it to see. Oh, it's empty. <laughs> Yay. Oh, and the, the it does pop off, pop off, so that you can just sprinkle it. That'd be great if you're hiking. And then, so I know this has to be vintage. I will check, but I'm almost positive. And then you've got this chow kit um coglins again this looks vintage and i don't know that it was ever used 
So I love camping gear. I love to camp. So it, they all hook together, a fork, a knife, and a spoon. Um, when I go camping, I still do tent camp. I don't have a camper or anything. And I use things that I can wash. I, um, my goal when I'm camping, one grocery bag, a plastic grocery bag of trash. Everything else needs to be sustainable. Um, I try to be a very eco-friendly camper. So, I like that set. If I look online and it looks like it's crap, it's nothing, I'll keep it. All right. This is a pack of two five by seven canvases. This will go to the art department at school. They can always use practice canvases, things like that. So this will go to them for a dollar. Um, I am happy to donate. And if you guys have watched any of my hauls, if you see that I, I pick up stuff for my teacher, the teachers that I work with all the time. All right, first time ever doing this. I was, I just started looking at all the jewelry there. I know this video is getting long. We'll try to hurry it up. I've never bought any, but while I was looking at it, I saw a sign, all necklaces are half off. And I was like, okay, say more, say no more. Here's a pretty one with a little arrow on it. Um, let me see what it says. I forgot what it says. Oh gosh, I might have to. Um, Chibi, C-H-I-B-I, -I, Chibi. So it was, I might have to open my notebook to see. Um, I just thought it was pretty. I didn't see any other marks on it, but I honestly have not taken out my jeweler's loop to look at it and, and really examine it to see if it's anything. Yes, Chibi Arrow Necklace. I paid $1.63 for it. All right, let's take a look at another necklace that I found. I don't know what, okay, yeah, that's the right side for this one. And I'm just gonna kind of hold it here. Ah! Can you see that I don't do this often? Look how pretty that is. Isn't that pretty? Um, this is loft. Yay, that's loft. So, um, what did I pay for that? The loft neck was two thirty-eight. Um, is this the one I think it is? Yes, this is. All right, this one is Spring Street. Look at that beautiful statement piece. All right, so Spring Street and all the jewels and everything were in it. I paid 260 for it. This is INC International Concepts. What did I pay for that? 288. Look how pretty that is. Let me. How gorgeous is that? All the all the rhinestones or whatever beads and everything were on it, so. Yeah, I thought that was a gorgeous color. That red, oh my gosh, it's so pretty. And then this one, which I believe is probably vintage, and it may it may actually be gold. It is just a basic chain by Napier. I cannot remember if they do dabble with gold or if everything they have is gold plated but I thought that was so pretty. And I paid, what did I pay for that one? Maybe $1.63. So again, I'll take my jeweler's loop to it and really check it out. Okay, so let's talk numbers really quick and end this because we're getting long-winded here. Um, I spent $76.85. I got 46 items. That's what I just hauled for you guys. And so that comes out to a dollar sixty-seven per item if I average it out that way. My goal on this entire haul is to make two hundred and fifty-three dollars and sixty-one cent, and that is even considering that I'm going to give away um, at least three things in this haul. So that's that's the haul. What you think? Um, tell me 
I, I'm trying to think, what do I want you to tell me? Have you ever found Brighton shoes? Did you know that there were such things as Brighton shoes? I had no clue. Um, and did you have a favorite thing that I found? Mine was still the Oscar de la Renta. The Oscar de la Renta um, wool blazer or wool sport coat. I'm just like, woo! All right, so that was my favorite. What was yours? And have you ever found Brighton shoes? I had no clue that they made shoes. So, thank you for watching if you made it this far. Today is Sunday here in my world, and I hope everyone has a great week, and I will see you for the next video. A tout à l'heure. See you later.